And when you're ready, you can bring your knees into your chest, giving them a big hug, rocking back and forth to roll out the lower back. and releasing the legs back down to the mat. Inhale your right leg straight up, grabbing behind your thigh or your calf, trying to pull that foot towards the mat behind you, keeping both legs as straight as possible, sinking into it with every breath. When you're ready, letting that leg fall to the right. Just letting gravity do the work. Inhale that leg back up and exhale, let it fall to the left for a supine spinal stretch. Try to keep those shoulder blades squared on the mat. Again, keeping your legs as straight as possible. Inhale the leg back up, give it one last pull, and slowly release it back down to the mat. When you're ready, inhale the left leg straight up. Again, grabbing behind the thigh or the calf, keeping both legs straight, and just sinking into this position. Go ahead and let that leg drop to the left. And inhale back up. Exhale, let it fall to the right for a supine spinal stretch. Inhale the leg back up. Again, giving it one last pull and releasing it back down to the mat. Go ahead and do a full body stretch. So your legs are out, arms come overhead, reaching through your fingertips and your toes. A few deep breaths here. Now we're gonna go into our bridge pose. So go ahead and bring your feet up your knees are bent and from here you're just going to raise your hips up off the mat maybe your hands are still above your head maybe they're on your stomach but just go ahead and lift your hips make sure that your back is fully pressed into the ground though before you inhale and lift up and we're just going to hold here getting those hips as high as we can
and slowly release back down to the mat. We're gonna do that a couple more times. So be sure before you go all the way up that you are pressing your back fully down into the mat and then inhale up. And just hold and breathe. And release. We'll do one more. Whenever you're ready, push your back down. Lift the hips up. And release. From here, we're gonna bring the feet together, knees out to the side for your supine butterfly. So your legs are in your soup or in your um, butterfly position. And again, just this is just another stretch, just letting the knees fall to the side, letting gravity do the work. A few deep breaths here. Just sinking into this position. When you're ready, we're gonna meet at our tabletop. So go ahead, maybe grab behind one of your legs to gain momentum to help yourself get up. And we will flip over into our tabletop. Try to make sure your hands are right underneath your shoulders. We're just gonna run through our cat and cow here. So go ahead, I'll let you do that at your own pace. Focusing on your own breathing pattern. Holding the positions for as long as you want. Run through two more times each and return back to your neutral tabletop. to our spinal balance. So you're going to inhale your right arm and left leg straight out. And just hold and breathe, trying to be a straight line from your fingertips to your toes. to the side for awkward spinal balance. Back to spinal balance. And release back down to the mat. Shake it out if you need to. We have the other side, left arm, right leg, inhale straight up. And out to the side, awkward spinal balance. to spinal balance. And release back down to the mat. Go ahead and push back into your child's pose. Arms reaching forward, sinking the hips back. Walk your hands to the right, staying low in your child's pose.
and to the left. Back to center. We're gonna thread the needle, so inhale your right arm straight up. Exhale, thread it through your left arm. Keep both arms straight, rest the right side of your face on the mat. Bring that right hand to meet the left out in front of you. Other side, inhale the left arm up. Exhale, thread it through. Sink the hips back even further. And back to center. When you're ready, curl the toes, push the hips up into your downward facing dog. Pedaling out the heels. Feeling a nice stretch in your calf muscles. Inhale, come forward to plank. Chaturanga, nice and slow, upward dog. Curl the toes, down dog. Jumping or stepping forward into chair. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, mountain. Back a little. Going into our sun salutation. Again, inhale, arms up. Exhale, mountain. Inhale, up. Forward fold. Halfway lift. All the way back down to the mat. Jumping or stepping back into your downward dog. Pedaling out the heels again if you need to. And then coming forward into plank. Chaturanga. Upward dog. Curl the toes. Down dog. Jumping or stepping forward into chair. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, mountain. I'll let you run through your sun salutation at your own pace. I will also be doing it. I'm just going to move this, but go ahead and just flow through that a few times. Make sure so you can see me better. I'll give you a few minutes to do so. Give you another minute or so. Just keep going at your own pace, maybe holding some poses longer than others.
run through three more full times, and then we'll meet in our um, child's pose. Once you're in your child's pose, go ahead and bring your knees together. Bring your chest down and now reach your hands back towards your heels. Again, trying to rest your forehead on the mat. This is rabbit pose. So knees are together, arms going back, reaching for your heels, resting the forehead on your mat. forward back into your child's pose. Curl the toes, push the hips up, downward facing dog. Inhale your right leg straight up into three-legged dog. Bend into crooked three-legged dog. Go ahead and flip your dog, bringing that leg all the way around, otherwise holding your crooked three-legged dog. Back to three-legged dog, leg is straight. Step that right leg all the way through, warrior one. Make sure that back foot is parallel to the back of your mat. A nice bend in your front knee, hands at heart center. From here, we're gonna straighten the right leg, inhale our arms up, exhale, sink back into it, one. Inhale, two, Inhale, three, inhale, four, inhale, five, inhale, six, inhale, seven, one more, inhale, eight, and hold, breathe. Go into your twist, left elbow on the outside of the right knee. Warrior one, we're gonna do that one more time. Inhale, exhale one. Inhale, exhale two. Inhale, exhale three. Inhale, exhale four. Inhale, five. Inhale, six. Inhale, seven, one more. Inhale, eight. 
When you're ready, open up. I'm gonna flip around to your warrior two. So left leg is straight, right leg is bent. From here, we're going to bring our arms into cactus arms. Same thing, going to straighten our leg. Inhale the arms up. Exhale, sink back into it. One. Inhale. Two. Inhale. Three. Inhale. Four. Inhale. Five. Inhale. Six. Inhale. Seven. Inhale, aid and hold. Slide your left hand down your back leg. Try to look up at that right hand if you can find your balance. Back to warrior two. And revolve your warrior right hand, reaching down towards the mat. Back up to warrior two. We're gonna do that one more time. Cactus arms. Inhale, one. Inhale, two. Inhale, three. Inhale, four. Inhale, five. Inhale, six. Inhale, seven, one more. Inhale, eight, good. Arms out. When you're ready, you can come into your warrior three or your brain warrior. Go ahead and step that left foot back. Frame your front foot. Get into your low lunge. Bring your hands on the inside of your right leg and drop the left knee. Trying to sink your hips down as far as you can to the mat. Now sit back on your left leg, straighten the right knee out in front of you and try to get your nose down to your knee. Keeping your feet flexed, sinking into it. Ooh, my dog's trying to get out of my room. And come back into your low lunge. From here, we're gonna tuck the right leg into our pigeon pose. So your right leg is tucked, you're sitting back on your right hip. Left leg is straight behind you, sitting up nice and tall in your pigeon pose. Now coming down onto your elbows. straightening your arms trying to get your forehead down to the mat all the way back up in your pigeon pose from here we're going to step right back into our downward facing dog around this way Pedaling out the heels. Left leg comes straight up, three-legged dog. And bending into cricket, three-legged dog. either holding this or flipping your dog. Back to 
three legged dog, leg is straight. Stepping all the way through. Warrior one on the left side. Right foot is parallel to the back of your mat, sinking into your left leg. Hands at heart center. We're gonna go into our inhales and straightening the legs. So inhale, sink into it, one. Inhale, two. Inhale, three. Inhale, four. Inhale, five. Inhale, six. Inhale, seven, one more. Inhale, eight and hold. Going into your twist, right elbow on the outside of your left knee. Back up to your warrior one. Going through that again. Inhale, one. Inhale, two. Inhale, three, inhale, four, inhale, five, inhale, six, inhale, seven, inhale, eight, and hold. Go ahead and open up into your warrior two. Coming into cactus arms. Going to straighten the arms and the legs. Inhale, one. Inhale, two. Inhale, three. Inhale, four. Inhale, five. Inhale, six. Inhale, seven. Inhale, eight. Arms out and hold. Slide your right hand down your back knee, placing it, or I mean, down your back leg, placing it above or below your knee, looking up at that left hand. And back to your warrior two. And revolving your warrior left hand reaching down towards the mat looking up at your right hand if you can and back to warrior two cactus arms inhale one inhale two Inhale, three. Inhale, four. Inhale, five. Inhale, six. Inhale, seven. Inhale, eight. Arms out and hold. And going into your warrior three, brave warrior. Step that right foot back, frame that left foot, bring both your hands on the inside of your left knee and drop your right leg down all the way to the mat. Sitting back on that right leg, Straightening your left leg out in front of you, trying to get your nose to your toe or your knee, <laughs> not your toes.
coming back to that low lunge and then tucking that left foot into your pigeon pose sitting on your left hip right leg is straight behind you sitting up nice and tall Dropping to your elbows. And all the way down, arms out in front of you, trying to rest your forehead on the mat. all the way back up. Go ahead and step back into your downward facing dog. Forward into plank, chaturanga, upward dog. Curl the toes, down dog. Jumping or stepping forward into chair. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, mountain. All right, we're gonna finish up with some balance here. We're gonna start with our tree pose, planting the left foot, bringing the right to the ankle, calf, or thigh. Hands can be wherever they feel comfortable, whenever you're ready. And go ahead and release. We have the other side. Right foot's planted, left at your ankle, calf, or thigh when you're ready. and relax. Um, let's do our number four. Plant your left foot, bring your right leg across, sink the hips back, hands can be at heart center or reaching towards the ground. When you're ready, go ahead. Switch, other side. Right, release we'll do one more let's do our um, dancers pose so going in kind of like you're doing a quad stretch grabbing on the outside of your right foot so, I mean sorry inside and slowly inching forward bringing that knee up once you find your balance add your arm out
and release. Go ahead, swish it out. And relax. Go ahead and make your way to your mat for Savasana, your final relaxation pose. You can also use this time to stretch out anything we may have missed today. Otherwise, just take this time for yourself and just use it to reflect and relax. And I will bring you back shortly.